The Orlando police chief is giving new details tonight about a man accused of shooting at his officers following a pursuit last night. It started in the Lockhart area and ended in a COE. The man arrested was a convicted felon. New Six's Jerry Askin joins us now live from the Orange County Jail. And Jerry, the police chief used this arrest as an example for what he calls a bigger problem. Lisa, yes. Orlando Police Chief Orlando Rolone said he's tired of seeing repeat offenders get out of jail over and over again. This coming as that suspect remains here behind bars on no bond, facing a slew of charges. 36-year-old William Bullock behind bars accused of opening fire towards officers in an unmarked vehicle in the Lockhart area Wednesday, then taking off, leading to a police pursuit to Okoe. Cops are all the way down the street, and it was... Uh, police officers with their guns drawn. Chief Orlando Rolon said it first started when officers spotted a stolen car they say Bullock was in. They followed the car and that's when they say Bullock opened fire shooting at the patrol car. It could have very well been a situation where today we were addressing one of our officers being injured or potentially killed. He said one officer returned fire, but Bullock was not hit. Police say he's a convicted felon with a warrant out for failure to appear in court. We just need to sentence, sentence them appro you know, appropriately and hold them accountable for their actions. The chief today speaking on his frustration regarding repeat offenders being released from jail. Court records show Bullock has a criminal past dating back to 2004 in Orange County, including convictions for grand theft, resisting an officer without violence, and more, though many of his cases we found were dismissed or there was no prosecution taken. When it comes to violent offenders, no one should argue the fact that those individuals may not deserve a third, fourth, fifth chance in, during their criminal career. Yeah, and right now I'm working to get a statement from the state attorney's office regarding the chief's frustrations when it comes to those repeat offenders being released time and time again. We also went by a listed address today for the suspect, you know, working to see if his family had anything to say. There was a sign outside the door that said this home was up for demolition. We're live here in Orange County. I'm Jerry Askin, getting results, News 6.